Hello everyone. So today we'll be solving a lit code hard problem and it is called uh, count the repetitions. And it the problem is as follows that uh, we can define a string in form s comma n and uh, this string it basically represents the s string concatenated n times. And uh, there is one more concept in this problem that uh, a string s1 can be obtained from a string s2 if we can delete some characters of s2 to get the s1. So what we need to do, we have been given two strings s1 and s2 and str1 and str2 form, can be formed by concatenating s1 n1 times and s2 n2 times and we need to return the maximum integer m such that str2 comma m can be obtained from s1 str1 so let us take a look to the constraints so the length of s1 and s2 both are less than equal to 100 and the length of s n1 and n2 is less than equal to 10 to power 6 so basically these str1 and str2 are of the order 10 to the power 8 so the these two things are less than equal to 10 to the power 8 so if we would be doing something like this like suppose there is a string made of infinite concatenation of S S2 and uh, there is a string that is made of N1 cot concatenations of S1 so basically this represents the str one and this rep the upper string this part represents the infinite concatenation of str2 so basically we will be measuring how much part of this string can be obtained from this string and after obtaining the length of this we can divide the length of str2 to get the m so the standard algorithm says to take two pointers so basically there will be a pointer 2 for this string and pointer one for this string. So, whenever we will get uh, the respect, uh, corresponding characters equal in those these two strings, we will be increasing both the pointer. And when, uh, whenever we want the, we will be getting that the the two is characters are not equal, we will increase this pointer one. And after uh, when this pointer PTR one will reach to the end of this string, the we can find the matched length using the pointer two. But this approach will give us TLE because uh, the length of the PTR1 is of the order 10 to the power 8. So we need to optimize this. So the one more optimization that we can do is that uh, at the start of each uh, each iteration over S1, the, this PTR2 will be present at some index of S2. And after end of each iteration, it will be present at some index of S2. So suppose uh, like if, if at the first it will start from index 0 of S2. Then it may be possible that uh, after end of first S1, it have moved to index 4, and uh, after the end of another S1, it may present uh, it may be possible that this 4 will move to 2 index 2 of S2. So, what we need to do, we can we can pre-compute all these uh, all this like movement of indexes from index for every index i. For, like we can compute that uh, at which position the pointer 2 will move if we will start from i equal to 0 at i equal to 1 and i equal to 2 and up to length of the this length of this s2 so for implementing this first let us store the length of the two strings now what we need to do we can use an unordered map for storing the indices and let us call increase so basically it will tell us the increase in the increase in the pointer 2 whenever it will start from a certain index of s2 and after the end of the each iteration of s2 so we can use a for loop that will go from 0 to length of two length two minus one and we can now use two two pointers so one pointer is ptr one equal to zero another pointer is ptr two equal to zero equal to i so basically we are trying to store the increase in length for each i so this s2 the pointer pointing to s2 will start from i and the pointer pointing to s1 will start from zero so we will do this for each length of s1 so the PTR will do until PTR1 is not less than 
not equal to length of uh, length of word. So if S two if S one PTR one is equal to S two PTR two mod length two. We need to do this because the PTR may exceed the length. This length to start from the beginning. So just in case this will happen, we will increase the two pointers. And just in case this was not the case, we will just increase the PTR. So after this loop will be executed, we can store the increase in the pointer of pointing to S2 by subtracting it, subtracting the i in it. So after this pre-computation, so this pre-computation will take uh, how much time? Length 2 into length 1. So the complexity of this pre-computation is length 2 into length 1. Now we need to do the main thing. So what we'll do, we'll start, the, we'll again take a pointer one and we need to, we can call it P, simply PTR because we there are no two pointers this time and we can take a variable total matched length. So what we'll do now, we will iterate over this whole string and find how much length of this string has been matched in this string. So initially this pointer will be at zero and we since this this point of this string is made up made by concatenating s1 n1 times so we can run this loop for n1 times now this total match length will increase by increase of ptr after each iteration and this PTR will also increase by this same quantity. But we need to take modulo of PTR with length of 2 to keep it within limits. And after end of this loop, we will get this total match length. So this uh, now we have got this total match length. Now we need to find how much STR, STR2 is present in this total match length. So we can divide the length of each str2 to get the answer. Let us try running it. some error has occurred everything is okay here let us check here yeah sorry it should be i plus plus yeah let's submit it yeah so we got success so the total complexity say so the complexity of this part is the upper uh, the pre-computation part is order of length 2 into length 1 and the complexity of this part is order of n1 so the overall complexity is length 2 into length 1 and uh, since this n1 is within limits with, with uh, less than equal to 10 power 6 it got accepted so thank you guys